Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and I'm here with this quarter's quarterly unboxing. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our quarterly program, uh, this is a program where you sign up to get books and bookish goodies from us once every three months. We send out the box to you, and the contents are always a surprise, so you do kind of have to trust us. We have the mainline quarterly box, which is what I'll be unboxing in this video. We also have the YA quarterly box, which uh, is YA novels plus plus some you know bookish stuff that comes in it as well. There's never any overlap, so the things that you get in one box you will not get in the other, so if you are subscribed to both, you don't have to worry about that. And I will put the links to sign up in the show notes below. And actually, our YA box, the next one ships out this week, I think, um, mid-January, so you should still have time to sign up for that. And yeah, do it. I already opened this box uh, because opening them takes me a while. This is what it looks like. And in each box you get a letter explaining the theme. Every box has a theme uh, and giving you more details about the contents. And so the theme of this uh, box was, let's, I'll just read it, we're capping off the year by highlighting a few of the best new voices on the scene. So this uh, box shipped in December, so it was debuts of 2015 that we really liked. So this box contains what is possibly my favorite item we have ever put in a quarterly box, ever. Make reading great again. Yep. And uh, the description in the letter says, of all the custom items we've created for the quarterly box, this one's the trump card. Election season is crazy, but reading is a non-partisan activity. So we teamed up with the people at The Strand, which is a bookstore in New York, to make these hats. Make reading great again. Of course, it's a parody of Donald Trump's slogan, make America great again. Um, I'm not gonna get into why that's ridiculous, but anyway, the hat's great. Also got some Strand bookmarks. Okay, the two books that came in this quarterly box were Bright Lines uh, by Tanwi Nandini Islam, which is amazing. I read this last year and really loved it. And we actually recorded the first live episode of the Reading Lives podcast at The Strand with this author. So Jeff sat down with her and interviewed her on that podcast. And I'll drop the link to that uh, below. It was a really great interview. She's a really fascinating person. And the other book is Dryland by Sarah Jaffe, which I have not read. Well, there's not much of a synopsis of that Dryland in the letter that you got, but it's a letter from Liberty. Liberty wrote the uh, explanatory blurb for the letter of why you should read it. And she just says, holy cats, this book is a heartbreaking joy. So that's really all I need to know from Liberty to read a thing that she uses the words holy cats to describe it. That means it's awesome. And we also had the author um, write us up an imaginary postcard from one of the characters to another one of the characters for Dry Land. And we got the same thing for Bright Lines. This is a print from Ernst Heichel, I think I'm saying that right, and the back is a note from one of the characters to another one of the characters in Bright Lines. This is really pretty frameable thing there. We've also got a 365 new words a year word a day calendar for your desk or office or wherever, car. I guess you could put it in your car. Probably not a good idea. And some novel teas. I love these things so much. These are teas uh, with literary tags, like the part that you hold when you're dipping the tea has a, a literary quote on it. And this is English breakfast, which is categorically the best tea, though I will also take Earl Grey. Novel teas. So that's it for this quarter's quarterly box. We've got two awesome debuts, some tea, a calendar, some bonus stuff, and the best hat that ever existed. There's also lottery items in every quarterly box, so if you our subscriber, 50 of the subscribers are getting a copy of I'll Never Write My Memoirs by Grace Jones, which is a bonus item. I never get the bonus items. What's up with that? And that's it. See y'all later.